I'm going to start with the terracotta blush scents. I use this underneath my eyes to correct dark circles. I already put my silk on, which is our pore and wrinkle minimizer, and it acts as a great primer for the makeup. I do that as part of my skincare in the morning. So it fills in all the fine lines and wrinkles and the pores, but you wanna let that sit for at least a good like five, 10-ish minutes. So I like to do it with my skincare because then I can let it sit while I'm getting the rest of myself ready. And then by the time I sit down to do my makeup, it's already cured and dried down. So that terracotta is gonna cancel out the dark circles underneath my eyes because the orange is opposite of the blues and purples if you think of a color wheel. As you can see, I woke up today with a really nice new friend. So I'm going to cover that up with a combination of green, light, and white concealer. I put all three of those into my palette. I use the back of my brush, shot it right over the areas that I want to conceal and color correct. So the green is gonna take out the red and the light and the white is going to help diminish and conceal it. The key with the concealer is you wanna let it warm up to your skin temperature and then I'll blend it in and it will blend out really nicely. I also tapped a little bit underneath my eyes. So I just tap it over and then you want to blend out the edges. So you're keeping that area concealed and covered. Time for light color corrected tinted moisturizer. One pump in my palette. And I like to use a flat kabuki brush to just tap that on. That's gonna give you a little bit more coverage. This is gonna even out my skin tone and give me just a very sheer pigment as well. I'm just gonna do half of my face first so you can see the difference that just the tinted moisturizer makes. This color corrects up to three shades darker or three shades lighter to match your skin tone. And it's just gonna even out the redness, and give you a nice clean canvas to work with. I'm gonna leave my face makeup alone to set and color correct to my skin tone. And I'm moving to my eyes. I'm gonna put candlelight. I'm using the Wonderland Shadow Sense Collection today. This is the Deep Plum, the Candied Cocoa Shimmer, and the Glacier Glitter. I'm gonna start with the Candied Cocoa Shimmer and I'm gonna put just a little bit of that on my brush. I'm gonna put it in the crease. And I go a little higher to create more of a wider eye. And then I go back in with a fluffy blending brush, circular motions. And that is gonna be my transition shade, super pretty color. And I take, bring a little bit of it underneath as well. How pretty is that candied cocoa shimmer? Love it. Okay, so now I'm gonna take the Deep Plum and I literally just want like one tiny little dot. And then I'm gonna take my brush, I'm gonna pat that down in like a reverse seven or V. It's always best to start with a little bit because you can always build it to add more. And I go back with that blending brush. So just finish that on the other eye. Now I'm going to take a flat, a clean flat brush and I'm going to use the Glacier Glitter. Like, um, how, oh my goodness, how amazing is that color? Glacier Glitter, Deep Plum, Candy Cocoa. Take it right off of my applicator 
and I'm going to press it onto the inner corner of the lid. <gasps> wow. So pretty. Kind of press and I slightly hold down at the same time. I'm gonna tap a little bit in the inner corner while I'm there. So I wanna show you my favorite hack right now for my eyebrows. I love to use the brow sense as well, but I just wanna show you what I've been doing lately in my brows, which is our brown lash, lash sense. A new formula for our mascara, our waterproof and a humidity proof um, formula that intensifies, volumizes, lengthens and actually grows your lashes as you're wearing them. It's phenomenal. Um, this is actually the original formula, but I've been using it in my brows. I go really quick and I use just the tip to kind of get a little more detailed lines in there. A really quick brow gel. This is in the original formula and um, the new formula. You can use the black brown in the new formula as well. Now I'm taking the new eyeliner pencil. It's a retractable, um, waterproof, smudge proof pencil. And I like to use it to tight line. Take it across the top. This stuff is waterproof, so I tightlined on there, but as you can see, even when I blinked, it did not come down to the waterline on the bottom. Isn't that amazing? It will last you all day long. It's smudge proof, waterproof. It's not going to melt. It doesn't have any harsh chemicals in it. It has a wax from um, a palm tree, but it will not melt off of your face. I'm just gonna tap a tiny little bit of that deep concealer and I'm using an angled flat kabuki brush and I'm just going to tap that as a bronzer right underneath my cheekbones where that divot is right there. Okay, And I tap it where I want it to go and then I blend up. And as you can see, this is super pigmented. You don't need much. And I'm even gonna spread it across my forehead. And we're gonna start adding color back in now where we want it to be. And I kind of go in this reverse three this. You can see how that gave dimension back to that side of my face. That just added some bronze tone. So I am going to mix my blush and make my own custom blush color. So I'm using Toasted Rose. Then I actually want to tie in that Candy Cocoa Shimmer from my eyes. Press and glide that Candy Cocoa Shimmer in there clean angled kabuki brush, use the back, mixing it all in and I just created my own custom blush. So I dot that there, pat it in on top of where I put that bronzer, so right on the cheekbone and then I take it up. And I kind of go up the temples a little bit into the hairline and then you can blend it out. Isn't that so pretty? And now your blush matches your eyes. Now I'm gonna take my Snow Shadow Sense, which is stark white, tap a little bit on the end of my brush and I'm going to put it on my inner corners. This is going to brighten those inner corners and open up the eye. And 
And then I'm going to use my pearlizer. So pearlizer is really pretty and glowy and it catches the light beautifully. And I just am gonna tap it on top of my cheekbone above where we put that custom made blush on both sides to add a really nice highlight. You see how it catches the light? So pretty. I also like to tap a little bit underneath my eyebrow there in the arch and on my Cupid's bow. Or a little poutier lip. To finish up my face and pull the whole look together, I tapped the um, natural powder into my palette. And you'll see how it just pulls the whole look together. I love this powder. It's going to soak up any excess oil or perspiration throughout the day and just keep your makeup looking and feeling super fresh and um, you don't really have to set the makeup because it's all waterproof or water resistant and humidity resistant and so it's going to stay all day but you can see how that just pulls the whole look together i go in now to do my lashes with my eyelash curler take the undersense which is our lash builder and primer. It's going to build up the lashes. It's going to create a little tube around the lashes to hydrate them and condition them as you wear it. And then it creates a really nice primer base for the lash sense to stick to. So I'm going to show you just on the one eye and then I'll do the other eye off camera. What I like to do is layer my mascara. So I do the waterproof first, and I do one layer of the waterproof. It helps if you like hold your mirror down so that you're looking down, especially if you have a hooded eye like me to keep it from getting on that crease. Okay, so there's one layer of the waterproof. I repeat on the bottom. I just do this because I like the look of it, but you don't have to. I also will just wear just one. It's just a personal preference thing. I like the look and the fullness of mixing the two different formulas together. And I don't do it all the time either. I take the humidity proof as my second layer. Just a different look and not something that I always do every day. This is in the color black. It also comes in black brown, which is a really dark chocolatey, rich brown color, super pretty. And I really like that if you want more of a natural eyelash look. And again, it's nice to wear in your eyebrows as, as well but it gives a really soft, like less dramatic look to the lashes, but still keeping them nice and long and full. And then my third layer on the bottom of the waterproof. How gorgeous is that eye look? I am absolutely loving it. And what I love about these lashes is that it's so like soft and flexible and it's not going to flake off and it's there all day long, and um, it grows your lashes as you wear it. I mean, hello. <laughs> really appreciate the fact that you stuck around and checked out each and every little piece of this look today. So, hope you guys have a good afternoon.